Good morning, Crossroad family. Uh, I'm not sure if this is working or not because my computer's got one of those little spinny things going on. Uh, I'm hoping that it is, and I hope that I find you well this morning. Uh, it is Thursday, June the 4th, and we are just three days away from an exciting event, and that is the opportunity to move our worship times back indoors. So uh, it's a lot of stuff that is going on this week in preparation for that. And I just wanted to talk a little bit this morning about uh, being overwhelmed. Have you ever felt overwhelmed trying to get ready for something? Um, I, I think back on um, you know Mary and Martha when they invited Jesus into their home and and Martha was overwhelmed and she was scurrying about trying to get everything accomplished. And uh, Mary, of course, took the opportunity to rest at the feet of Jesus. And and, and Jesus uh, said, this is the, the better choice there. So I'm not saying that that, that is a, an exact parallel to what's going on today. But, of course, we are uh, trying to get prepared so that we can come together on Sunday and and have a time of worship together where uh, the technology that we need be it sound system and microphones and instruments or video screens and cameras and live stream all of those kinds of things um, are working properly so that they are a help and not a hindrance to our gathering now of course i am aware that we don't need any of those things in order to worship our great God. But it in this day and age, it certainly does help us because the sound system gives us the opportunity to be heard uh, by a larger group of people that are about the room. And of course, during the COVID-19 uh, lockdown days, we have been able to move into the uh, online world and it's important for that camera signal and the audio that goes out to there is working well so that people who are not able to be with us can uh, ha have the experience that we are enjoying uh, gathered here uh, wherever they are in their homes. And we want that to be uh, of good quality. We recognize that some of the Sundays over the last several months, we've, we've been trying every week to, to, to get better to learn, to grow into this new season of ministry uh, online. So I hope that you will be gracious as we continue to try to figure all of that out. But anyway, as I thought about preparations, uh, I found this verse and want to share it with you. It's from Proverbs chapter 24, verse 27, and it says, Prepare your work outside get everything ready for yourself in the field and after that build your house and as i was thinking about that verse uh, really what it is saying to us is that in order to accomplish the things that we hope to accomplish in order to build our house uh, and in this case we're talking about the house of worship and the opportunity that we have to gather in uh, inside this week and to come together in a focused time of worship and praise and thanksgiving and diving into God's word, all of those things. Uh, it's saying that we have to prepare certain things and get ready certain things before we do that. And so that's what I'm talking about that is going on here. Uh, lots of work is being done, and we've got we've got deacons, and we've got some some church members that have have helped and are going to be helping in the days to come. Uh, we've got our audio and and technical guys and gals that have been helping out to move the sound system back into the CLC and get it ready and get it up and running and today pastor justin and i are 
working on getting the projectors um, operational and getting the screens up so that you'll be able to see the words on the screen and all that kind of stuff. And there's just so much that has to be done. But we are earnestly and uh, gladly working on all of these things because we are trying to prepare ourselves, trying to get ready for the exciting time that we are looking forward to on Sunday when we are able to come back indoors. Now, keep in mind that we have put in place some things and we want to be wise, we want to be cautious, but we want to operate in faith and not in fear. As we come back together, we will have social distancing in the room. We will have hand wash stations available. We will not have a time of greeting where we encourage you to hug and shake hands and all of those kinds of things. We just don't feel like that would be responsible at this point. But And we also will give you the opportunity in the CLC to wear a mask if you feel comfortable doing that, but it will not be required. And for those of you who uh, do not feel comfortable coming unless you can wear a mask and all of those around you are wearing a mask, we also have that availability up in the sanctuary. Just remember that we have two services coming up this Sunday, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. And uh, those two opportunities for mask only will be available during both of those services up in the sanctuary. Just keep in mind that in the sanctuary, you will be watching on the screens the events that are taking place down in the CLC at the 9 o'clock service. And then at 11 o'clock, you'll be watching a rebroadcast of what took place at the nine o'clock service in the CLC. Just want you to be aware of that, but we hope that all of these options and opportunities uh, are going to give you the opportunity to come and to, to rejoin your church family closer to what we would love to be able to do uh, back indoors where we can be at least sitting near one another and looking one another in the eye and enjoying the common fellowship uh, of our time of worship. So we are working to prepare to get ourselves ready so that when we build the house, and we're going to build a house of worship, a house of praise, a house of celebration, a house of thanksgiving, a house of God's word, this Sunday morning. We're working to prepare ourselves for that time. And I would encourage you today to think about between now and Sunday, how do you need to be preparing your fields, preparing the outside, preparing yourself to be ready to build the house of worship. And I'm reminded that all of us are uh, a temple of the Holy Spirit. We are ourselves a house of worship. So think about how you can prepare yourself and get ready for building that house of worship that's going to be lifting the Lord's name high this coming Sunday morning. Remember our services are at 9 and 11 o'clock. If you're coming to the CLC service, we ask that you enter the building either at the upstairs doors by the offices or the downstairs double doors coming into the dining room. And if you'll use those two points of entry, uh, that will be helpful. And when you come indoors, there'll be some folks there at the door uh, to the CLC that will be able to help you or to the gymnasium area that will be able to help you and your family to some seats. And then also be assured that in between the 9 and the 11 o'clock services, uh, the seats will be sanitized and we'll be uh, preparing for that second service. So I hope that uh, you're going to have a great day. I hope that you're going to get prepared like we are continuing to do for Sunday. And 
I just uh, want all, all of us right now to stop and to pray together for, uh, for our preparations and in anticipation of our celebration on Sunday. Would you pray with me? Father God, uh, Lord, we thank you so much for who you are, and, and we give you praise just for who you are. We give you praise for all that you have done and all that you continue to do to bless us and to lead us and to sustain us. And all of those things, we, we give you praise, Lord. Help us, Lord, as we continue to prepare for Sunday. Help us. Uh, Help us not to forget the details that need to be remembered. Help us to, to get everything set up in such a way that we will be able to gather and have a wonderful spirit of fellowship and togetherness, even under socially distanced circumstances. Help us, Lord, to be able to come together and to lift your name high, that you might be glorified and that your people might be encouraged, inspired, and challenged to continue doing the good work of Jesus Christ, to continue sharing the love of Jesus with our neighbors, both the neighbors that we know and the neighbors that we do not know, but that we encounter. Lord, we ask your continued um, prayer, uh, or we, we continue to pray, Lord, and ask that, that you would bring peace to our nation and Lord it is a very troubling time and help each of us as brothers and sisters in Christ as followers of Jesus Christ to do what we can to demonstrate that love and to love our neighbors around us so that others might see it recognize it as different from the world and uh, want to know what it is that we know, who it is that we know that might bring about that change in their lives as well. Lord, we love you. And we look forward to time spent with you and our church family together this coming Sunday. And we give you all the praise and glory that you alone deserve. In Jesus' name, amen. You guys be well. If you need anything, give us a call. Bye-bye.